<laughs> and there you have it. Yeah. Our new 2022 Predator. Hi everyone, Mr. Cubo is here and today I have a special guest, uh, 2022 World uh, 10 Bowl Champion Wojtek Szewczyk. Uh, hello Wojtek, how are you? Uh, how you, how you spent uh, your Christmas time? Uh, hi, thanks for having me. Uh, Christmas has been uh, pretty quiet for me, just calm time with my family and uh, and closest friends. Uh, so a little bit time off the table, but now we're back in 2023 and I'm practicing hard again. I said uh, world champion because exactly you are you are the world champion. Uh, you you won this title in last year uh, in uh, United States, yes? Yes, in Las Vegas. United States in Las Vegas. And uh, you are the first Polish player in seniors division who, who won this title. Of course, uh, we had a lot of juniors champions like like Daniel Macho or or Shimon Kural, but uh, you are the first one who who won this title uh, in seniors division. And tell me, Wojtek, what does it mean for you this this title and and how you feel this one? Yeah, but uh, also talking about all our world champions, let's not forget Marek Kulik because he was actually the first yes, uh, yes. junior to win this title. So that was the first world title in pool for Poland. So shout out to Marek. Uh, he's not playing anymore competitively, uh, but let's not forget that he really made history uh, back in. Uh, back in the days i don't remember which year was that but uh, yeah coming back to your question uh, of course it it feels huge it feels amazing uh, when i was a junior i was dreaming about becoming a world junior champion because it meant it's uh, it, it just sounded so unreal and uh, i would give anything to to become a world junior champion back then uh, but now I'm already 10 years in the seniors division uh, and actually those times they feel so small compared to right now because uh, back then it was also true, you know, the, being competitive uh, as a junior athlete uh, is it's just so important for you. Uh, but then when it becomes your profession it's just different because there is more uh, on the stake, there is money, there is prestige and, uh, and after all in seniors division, uh, in men's division you know you compete against the best in the discipline in the whole world. I mean, there is literally no one better when uh, when you play in the, in the World Championships. So the creme de la creme, yes. So winning this kind of title uh, is just uh, really tough to describe because uh, once you start thinking about it, this is this, this is what we are what we are all playing for for many many years and all the struggles, all the tough days during practice, all the losses on the way. And uh, they lead you to that moment and uh, it might never come. And for many players, it never comes. And I wasn't like super successful in my life. I, I mean, I won a couple events, but I was not considered a favorite back, back in that tournament. And I still managed to win. So I think when you don't really super expect it, it tastes even better. I remember because uh, I watched your matches and uh, I remember your semi-final match with Enkel and Kachi and uh, you came back from 9-7. Uh, this was race to race to 10. Yep. And uh, I remember 18th rack when you made a little bit uh, wrong position to the ball number 9. And yeah. you made an unbelievable cut on the 9 yeah. and uh, finished this rack and won, won uh, all, all match. And uh, tell me one thing. Uh, what you what you feel uh, when you played match against Evans in final, and uh, you made a position for the last ball number ten, and what you uh, what did you feel in in this moment? Yeah, I understand. You know uh, this kind of uh, day like the one I had because we played from last sixteen, so the, there were four matches in total that day, and it was a mix of emotions because you were. I was feeling so different in hour to hour, depending in the, in what moment of the day and what match. But uh, like standing in front of the ten ball for the world champion title, I'm I cannot even tell how I felt. I tried to not feel anything because when you are start start feeling in that kind of moment, uh, you can get overwhelmed easily by emotions, and I didn't want that. I just want to keep my arms straight, just make the shot. 
make it in the pocket and just celebrate. So, so that, there was a lot of pressure, you know, because it was super easy, the ten ball. But anything is missable. You have never been in this kind of situation, like playing the, the ball for your dreams. So, so you don't know what to expect. But uh, fortunately, I didn't choke. I just played the normal shot straight in the pocket. Uh, and, uh, and right after that, it was just amazing what I felt. Tell me, Wojtek, because uh, uh, we are at this moment uh, in the new club, uh, in Polish map, uh, in my home city, uh, Lodz. 60 tables for pool billiard, uh, one for snooker and special special zone for darts. And uh, tell me, can you compare this club uh, in any other place around the world? You, you play in uh, Euro Tours or uh, in tournaments uh, in US. Can you compare this club uh, uh, to, to any other club around the world? It's not that easy because on most tournaments around the world we actually play in venues when they, where they put uh, tables into hotels, conference centers. So they are not really pool halls. This one is uh, like a commercial pool hall that operates uh, throughout the year. Uh, so, uh, but of course, traveling around the world, uh, I can visit some pool halls here and there. And uh, this is definitely one of the biggest. It, 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 there is the biggest number of tables in one in one spot. There is also a huge pool hall in Bucharest in Romania, one of my favorite uh, places to be. Uh, it's even bigger because there is also bowling alley, uh, restaurant, fitness center. So, uh, like, uh, I think it's it, it's a little bit bigger, but here it's more like pool focused, pool concentrated uh, with 60 tables. So it's just amazing. Definitely the biggest pool hall in. Uh, in Poland, in Europe as well, I think, uh, when it comes to number of tables. So uh, a place to visit, definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm just admiring uh, the, the owner. He's doing an amazing job to uh, like to keep uh, pool in Poland developing. Poland is a really strong nation in pool billiard in international competitions. Uh, we have a lot of uh, good players like uh, Babica, uh, Kapłan, Justrzyszyn, Śniegocki, and you are in this group. And tell me, uh, what uh, what does it mean for you representing Poland, uh, team team Poland in uh, tournaments like European Championships or World Championships? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, it's a it's a reward. It feels reward. I feel rewarded to be able to to uh, represent Poland, especially as you said, in such a strong group as we have in our national team. It's just really hard to be in the top five to be selected. Uh, you get uh, more than 10 names uh, that can easily make it for European Championships. So to come on top in the Polish ranking and be in the mix, uh, that just proves that uh, I am working hard because without that you wouldn't be able to be there. Uh, so, so definitely it feels special and all the, all the tournaments where I am able to, to represent my country is also special uh, because uh, uh, it feels nice when you're not when you're not just playing for yourself, but you always have family and friends behind your back. But uh, just having a regular uh, uh, enthusiast supporters uh, cheering me on uh, that's that's amazing. Exactly, I asked about uh, World Championships because uh, at the beginning of uh, February, uh, the first time in Poland in uh, Targi Kielce will be. Uh, World Pool, a nine ball World Pool Championship, and uh, you will play in this tournament. And tell me, uh, how looks your preparation uh, for this tournament? Do you have any expectations? Uh, I remember that you, uh, your best result in nine ball World Championships uh, is fifth place in uh, 2015, and. Uh, Tell me, do you have any expectations for this uh, to, for this tournament? A yeah, funny thing, 2015 was actually my debut in the World Championships and I did pretty well. I wanted to win a match and I almost ended up getting a medal. Uh, I'm just uh, over the moon that we have uh, World Championships held in Poland. Uh, it's a huge venture for, for our association. A lot of people are involved. Uh, definitely something we have never had uh, in, uh, in Poland yet. And. Uh, Regarding the tournament, of course, I'm practicing hard. This is one of the majors in the year, uh, probably the most important tournament of the year uh, to me because it's World Nine Ball and because it's uh, held in my uh, in my country. Uh, 
And uh, well, do I have expectations? Of course, of course. Uh, I'm practicing for that specific tournament, for that moment. So I want myself to perform well to uh, in all areas of the game to be thinking right to be playing well at the table and hopefully that could bring me a medal because uh, we never know you know uh, if if i end up losing quicker but i'm satisfied with satisfied with my performance then it's also fine because there's not not much more i can do i'm already happy with my uh, preparation so this job is almost done because we still have uh, over a week to go uh, but uh, uh, yeah, this this part this part is checked on my list. Uh, so now just the tournament, which is uh, the most important part, uh, and then we will see how it goes. Tell me, Wojtek, how long you play pool and how many time you spend uh, on your practice? Uh, can you point the one moment in your career? that you felt that you are a valuable player, uh, you can compete uh, with strongest players uh, from, from the world. I'm playing for around 19 years already. I started when I was nine. Uh, this, this is when I had my first coach, like in a local pool hall. And uh, when it comes to my career, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if there was one specific moment. I mean, there were milestones, definitely, when I started to know that I can jump on another level. But maybe to be, maybe when I, when was the time when I started thinking that I can beat anyone in the world? I think that was around being 18 years of age when uh, I managed to get to the final of the Euro Tour. That was very unexpected too. And uh, this year also we went to World Cup of Pool with Karol Stoverski and we uh, managed to get a silver medal there. So I was already in the mix, but I was very new. And uh, then there was all, a lot of work ahead of me, for me. Uh, and around five years later, when I was 23, I won my first international event in Europe. So that was also something uh, uh, special because I was on my own there and I went there as a favorite one of the favorites because it was not a super strong field and I managed to win. Uh, so oh, as, as you actually mentioned against Ralph Suke in the, in the final, which was also important because he is such a legend. So, so to be able to beat him 9-8 in the final for my first international win, I think that was pretty special. And the year after I managed to win Mets Bucharest Open, which was basically uh, as big as a Euro Tour. So after that, uh, oh, so many world champions played in a tournament. After that, I was sure that I can win. From now on, I can win any tournament I play. Okay, Wojtek, I think that this is all what I need to uh, hear about you. And uh, this was this was a big pleasure for me to make uh, make this interview. This was the first first interview for me on my channel. And uh, of course, I wish you all the best in in your career and uh, in world championships. I hope uh, you you will play uh, really well and and win win this title. And uh, maybe you want to to say something to your um, to your fans, to your supporters. Of course. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, Adam, for having me. It was a pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview and uh, subscribe because he's having tons of uh, cool content on his channel. And I would like to thank my sponsors, especially Mescues and Zantips, but also a lot of supporters I have uh, from my home country. And thank you for cheering me on. Uh, I mean, this uh, having this full career uh, uh, is a blast. And I just hope it, uh, I can keep on going and jump another couple levels and bring you and myself a lot of joy. Thank you very much, Wojtek, and see you in next competition. Thank you.